To configure a bridge topology, each AP must be located in a separate cluster. The AP1221 highlighted here will be configured as the root AP. The second AP will be configured as the non-root AP. Since the mesh link has not been established, you can see that a client connected to the AP is not able to join the network on the other side. Let's configure the non-root AP. To do so, click on the AP window and click the AP to configure. On the AP configuration page, select the Network tab and click the AP interface window. Click the Edit button of either of the interfaces. It will lead to the configuration page. Enable the interface it's down by default, and verify that bridge mode is selected. Enter the SSID name. This SSID will only be used for the mesh bridge connection and not as a service for WLAN clients. It is then recommended to use the 5 GHz radio on the mesh link. Both radios will be used for the mesh bridge link. Set the AP as non-root. Finally, set the passphrase that will be used for the security of the mesh bridge link. Go to the AP that will be configured as the mesh root and configure the AP interface. The SSID name and passphrase must be the same as previously configured. The only difference in the configuration is the root parameter is set to yes. Both APs will restart and apply the configuration changes. This will take several minutes. Go to the Mesh Root AP and check that the Backhaul 1 interface is up. Also check the speed of the link as it will indicate a connection to the non-root AP. On the non-root AP, check that both interfaces, connector 1 and backhaul 1, are up and the link speed is set on both interfaces. With the mesh bridge link now established, ping the network attached to the root AP from the client connected to the network. Remember that no SSIDs are broadcast by the bridge AP. The test should be successful. 